your boy Ice Cube in his big three league. They apparently offered Iowa's Caitlin Clark $5 million to play 10 games in a big three league. Now, Ice Cube, of course, receives criticism for everything he does, but he received some criticism because people were talking about, well, why Caitlin Clark? for the $5 million offer. There's other women who want the opportunity. There's other women who need more opportunities to play basketball outside of overseas in the WNBA. Why not offer them? And that's just nonsense because one, I agree. I a thousand percent agree. Women need more opportunities outside of the WNBA and, you know, overseas. But on the other hand of that, none of these women are Kaylin Clark right now, bro. I don't care who you pull out the WNBA. They are not Kaylin Clark right now, bro. It's not a good idea for Ice Cube to go find anybody else and offer them $5 million when they're not bringing the same type of crowds that Kaylin Clark is bringing. Bro, because did you forget, this is the same girl that had people waiting four hours outside of stadiums and arenas to watch her play. In the beginning of the season, we witnessed Iowa fill up a football arena or football stadium to watch Kaitlyn Clark play. A football stadium. The, the game was sold out, and it wasn't even an actual exhibition game. It was just the black versus yellow game for Iowa. And the football stadium was filled up. Over 85% of her games were sold out this past season. So she's filling up arenas game after game. And this is a generational type of talent. So that's why she gets this generational type of offer coming straight out of college. Because anywhere she plays, she's going to bring record-breaking numbers to an audience. He'd be foolish not to try and get Kaylin Clark to play in a big three. I mean, hell, if I could get Kaylin Clark to show up on this damn podcast, I would do it because I know wherever the hell she stepped, she's going to bring a hell of a crowd with her. Fans would love to see that. I personally would love to see her play in a big three. I don't know how it would go, but I would, I would love to see it. I mean, her playing against a lot of experienced NBA players, her playing half court, no fast breaks. I would be interested in that. And then this is crazy, too, because Kenya Martin, he plays in the big three right now. And he was on there um, on one of these podcasts he was on. And he was saying, you know, I don't think Kaitlyn Clark could play in the big three because it's a step down from prison ball. <laughs> and I'm like, that that is kind of true, because I've watched the big three a couple times. And it is definitely, you know, very, very intense. It's very physical. And again, that half court setting would probably be the thing that I'm most concerned about in terms of Kaitlyn Clark's game, because I know she has games. She's going to be able to shoot lights out, but also, too, you ain't going to be at a fast break thing. Everything is going to have to be one on one. And I mean, the rebounds is in a half court setting is a lot easier to get. People got more stamina in a half court uh, in a half court setting. So, you know, I don't think he's completely wrong on that, but I would still love to see it. It just so happens that. Kaitlyn Clark definitely ain't going to do that. She ain't about to go to any other of these leagues, even though they're offering her a lot of money. The NBA and the WNBA just really, really gives you a different amount of credibility um, when you talk about, you know, playing in that on that stage. Because, I mean, hey, you, you play against Sabrina Ionescu, you play against uh, uh, Brianna Stewart, all of these other legends. Um, in the in the making in the WNBA, I think it's definitely going to be something crazy. And, you know, that's the only way you're really going to be able to achieve that GOAT status of the greatest of all time is if you play against the best of the best and just so happens the best of the best are in the WNBA right now.